<laughs> well, you can't say I didn't tell you. Everything I said in this video is exactly what happened in the fight. Rob Duvall's really drowned Sean O'Malley. If you watch that fight, Sean O'Malley was... It didn't even look like he had a chance. He knew he didn't have a chance. Look at his face. He just looked down. He looked nervous. I mean, the Aljo fight, you could tell he had a little bit of confidence. He thought he was going to knock him out. This fight, he just looked depleted. I mean, bro, do you see the... Bro, Rob is kissing this dude on the neck. You're letting a grown man kiss you on your neck. And what are you doing? He just, he, he's just on the ground. Like, bro, Sean O'Malley's striking is so overrated. The dude is really punching in slow motion. Just because he had one little... He had one little step back KO against Aljo. Aljo had no preparation. Aljo was hurt. It doesn't mean anything. The prime example is when he fought Cheeto Vera. Dude, Cheeto Vera got knocked down by Figgy. Figgy is a 125er. And Sean O'Malley couldn't even put this guy out? Couldn't even put him on the ground? Come on, bro. This is the easiest pick of my life. Morab is better at Sean O'Malley at every single aspect of MMA. I mean, bro, look at the fifth round. Look at the corner cam. Tim Walsh is telling Sean O'Malley it's about to be over. Because he knows th they knew it was over before they stepped in the cage. So the question everyone wants to answer is, where does Sean O'Malley go from here? My real answer is, I think he should just retire. Because it's not going to get any better right now. I mean, he was never that good. It's, it's the truth. Watch the fights. Look at everything. He was never that good. He was never that that Conor McGregor that the UFC wanted him to be. Let's be for real. I think what he should do now is just stick to skits. Skip, just stick to YouTube. Because, I mean, you've only lost one real fight. You still have really kind of the fan base. You still got a little bit of just some pride left. I feel like the best thing for him is just to just call it quits. Or, I mean, I don't know. Go up to... Take take a year off. Go up to Featherweight. See what you got. I mean, let's hope it was... For for his sake, he needs to hope he really support his at 155 by then. Because he goes to Featherweight, he somehow gets a title shot against Ilya Zaporia. I, I feel bad. Because it's going to be a massacre. Like, for you to watch that fight, you're going to have to sign a little disclaimer. Because Ilya Zaporia is going to murder that man. <laughs> let's be for real. Ilya Zaporia is the best. He's pound for pound the best fighter. On the roster, in the world, not even close. So for me, what's next for Sean O'Malley? Retirement. That's about it. We're going to start a new series. You know, a new channel. So we're going to start new things. First, we're going to start off with dummy comments. Or we're going to call it dumb comments of the week. First one we got is by Canadian Toker. This guy thinks Marab is going to win. Ha ha. Rob's is 50 45, your boy. Next. The glaze is crazy. Rob's been hurt in so many fights. Do you honestly think Sean won't finish that? First of all, Rob was hurt by shorter opponents that can throw a tight left hook. One of you ever seen Sean O'Malley throw a tight left hook? All he throws is overhands, teeth kicks, fake knees. Bro, he does not. Bro, his striking is so overrated. If you think Sean O'Malley's going to do anything after this fight, he's not. It's over. I'm telling it's over. What's the next one? You know nothing about fighting. Bro, I just told you what was gonna happen in the fight before it even happened. Are you stupid? Let's see the next one. The last two. Easy dub for sugar. Um, but it wasn't easy. Sugar wins sweetly. <laughs> but he did not win sweetly. I mean, it's, I don't know where it goes from here. Sean O'Malley doesn't... Do you really want to see Sean O'Malley fight? I mean, Peter Yon again? That'd be a great fight. But Peter Yon's going to... In a five-round, Peter Yon's going to kill him. Rob Font? I mean... That's, that's boring. I mean, who who in the... Who in the bandwidth division do you want to see Sean O'Malley fight? I think there's one clear option. But he's not going to take it. it. Him versus Peyton Talbot. Now, Peyton Talbot... It's the real Sean O'Malley. <laughs> like, Peyton Talbot has the aura, the swag, the striking ability. I mean, I don't know. He's, he's really just, he's better at Sean O'Malley at being Sean O'Malley. No. What's next for Barack? I think it's pretty obvious. Him versus Figgy would be a banger. I mean, 
Him versus Umar, that would, who wants to watch that? Let's be for real. Two guys with striking where they just run at you. With good wrestling. It's just going to be a wrestling match. It's not, I'm not trying to watch that, to be honest. Figgy has the power. Figgy has the finesse. Figgy has the aura. Bro, Figgy's aura is off the charts, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I 100% times rather watch that fight than watch him versus Umar. That would be, I don't know. It would be boring to me. But, I mean, guys, I told you it. We're officially one and zero on main event picks on the channel. I don't think I'm gonna miss one the whole year. These, especially this, this next one I got coming up for Holler Stephoria. It's it. You thought Marab was the lock of the year. This one's the lock of the year. Trust me. If you don't, if you don't go with me on this pick, I'm telling you, you're gonna lose a lot of money, or you're just gonna be stupid. I mean, however you want to see it. So let's go and do a quick little recap. Valentina Shevchenko versus Alexa Grasso. I'm gonna keep it home with you guys. I will sleep. I didn't want to watch it. The last fight was pretty good, but I just didn't want to watch it. Alyssa Grasso, people like her because they, they think she's cute. I mean, I never seen the, I never, I, I never seen the, what the hype was. Her striking's all right. It's not, it's nothing special. Like I said, Talia, Talia Santos was gonna be the next champion of this division. She didn't get robbed by Valentina. She would have been the what, is, what division is? It? I don't know. She would have been the go at whatever division this is. Talia Santos is the real deal. If you don't know who that is. Look at the fight versus her versus Valentina. She clearly won that fight. I mean, she really did with, with, what's his name? I'm, I'm late blanking. Oh, my gosh. What Makachev did to Volk. We like, watched that fight, and I'm telling you, it was the same thing. And somehow she lost. And then she got cut by the UFC. Even worse. But, I mean, Valentina just held her down. 50-45. They made it look it was easy. I mean, the next fight for her is, I mean, I don't know. Aaron Blashfield lost. So was it? I don't know right now. I don't really care. Next, Diego Lopez versus Brian Ortega. This is a great fight. <laughs> 20 seconds in, Brian Ortega's on the canvas. This, this is every Brian Ortega fight. <laughs> his striking is terrible. He just runs at you with his chin up. With a little, he, those are a little left one down the pipe, but it's, he, he sucks. I mean, you know what you, Yara Rodriguez lost to him because Yara Rodriguez sucks. He's trash. His, his grappling is trash. He can strike. But, dude, how are you going to beat by Brian Ortega? I'm not, this isn't really that impressive from Diego Lopez because Brian Ortega sucks. So let's just go. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, let's let's just see. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to give you guys a little spoiler. After Elia destroys Max, he's going to need a challenger. And I don't I don't want to see Volk get up, go get, K, go get KO'd again because it's, it's going to be sad on his resume. So I'm thinking, look. No, let's just let him fight. Yeah, let's do Tapori's gonna beat Max. Then Tapori's gonna knock out Volk again. So in that meantime, let's do Diego Lopez versus Aljamain Sterling. And Aljamain Sterling, <laughs> you know what? He's gonna beat Diego, Lo- D- Diego Lopez. Diego Lopez is getting held down by Moscar Evelov. Same dude who just lost to Arnold Allen. And you're telling me this dude is gonna beat Aljamain Sterling? Aljamain Sterling's a lock of the year. Whatever, whatever, whatever that, that fight's on, he's a lock of the year. So, I mean, thank you guys for watching again. It was pretty obvious. I mean, I kind of told you guys. But, I mean, Sean O'Malley's career is over. Just be for real. Subscribe for more.